in the second half, but the main man preventing the Reds of Cliftonville from leaving Shamrock Park with a win was the Portadown goalkeeper, uh, and he's alongside Michael Hammond now. Yes, I've got the man of the match alongside me, Jethran Barr, who made a string of fantastic saves in that second half. Jethran, uh, you know, I, I don't want to be disrespectful to your teammates, but if it hadn't been for you today, I don't think you'd be going away with anything. Yeah, no, um, thank you so much for this award, and I just want to say thank you to God as well, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with the performance today. Obviously, we're fighting every week to get a point, but I have to give credit to my teammates. I thought Greg Hall, Paul Finnegan, they were outstanding today. You know, I wouldn't have uh, kept those balls out if it wasn't for them. They made some excellent blocks off the line and in and around the box. So credit to them and the whole team. And uh, obviously, I end up getting man of the match. I'm very happy with that. But yeah. Well, Jeff, I'm actually I can't remember all your saves. There were so many of them. Which of the which one of the saves? Did you like the best? Which one gave you oh, the most like, pleasure? Uh, Joe Gormley threw one-on-one. The one-on-one. Yeah, I always love making one-on-one saves. I've done it against Lon a few times as well. I think it was last week or the week before. But yeah, today as well, I was happy with that save. <laughs> Especially against a guy like Joe Gormley of his quality. It's always good. And Jethro, <laughs> your, your home record this season, that's nine games without a win, but it doesn't really tell the full story because you've had some fantastic performances here. You've held Lorne here. You've held Linfield here. You've had narrow defeats to both Lorne and Linfield. And today, again, wonderful performance against Cliftonville. Is that a point gained or do you feel that was two points dropped? Or are you happy with that draw? To be honest, I think it was two points dropped. To be honest, I think uh, if you had told me before the game we take a point, I would have been happy. But the way the game turned out and uh, the way they scored, I feel like we could have held on just a little bit more. But that's been the story of our season so far. I think we're the team that's dropped the most points from a winning position by far. So uh, there's more points dropped again for us today. I think that takes the total to 14 points dropped from a winning position. So I think we've just been so unlucky in that regard. But I feel like the win is coming. So. But but it's a young team as well. There's a lot of teenagers out there. And today you were playing behind a makeshift back four because obviously you'd lost Nathan Curry, you'd lost Adam McCallum. Yeah, no, it's, it's not easy. We've it's I think it's well documented that we got a string of injuries. And so we've had to throw a young Reese Jordan in, left back, 16 years old. We've got half the team is pretty much 18, 19 years old running around. And sometimes we forget how old they are um, because, you know, there's so many of them. And, I mean, if you're good enough to play... Age, what is age? <laughs> well, Jethro, before you go, I have to say, Liam Beckett's sitting beside me. He looks about 100 years old. He's <laughs> he's not far off, and he's seen everything. His very comments to me were, that is the best goalkeeping display I have seen. Wow, I'm, I'm truly honoured. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. I work really hard, so thank, thank you, thank you much, for that. Thank you very much. <laughs> By the way, Liam is taking his, uh, his prize as man of the match here at the moment. But Jethro, it was, it, was it was a joy to watch. Fantastic young man. That was brilliant. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you for joining us. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. There you are. Jethro Barr, the man of the match. Uh,